Hello everybody, Roger here and welcome to my channel, Roger's Reads. So today I'm going to do another book tag. I'm going to do the Gilmore Girls book tag, even though I've personally never watched uh, the show Gilmore Girls. But the, but the tag sounded kind of interesting and I saw a few people do it and it looked like a lot of fun so I thought I'd give it a try. Now the original tag was created by... Pucks and Paperbacks, so uh, so a huge shout out to her. I'll put a link to her channel below this in the in the description box of this video. So um, on to the tag. So the first question is Lorelei, a character with a witty or sarcastic sense of humor. So for this, I chose uh, Charlie Davidson, uh, whose real name is Charlotte in the book, in the, from the Charlie Davidson series. So every book in this series has made me laugh out loud, uh, sometimes hysterically so. I really love Charlie's wit, and she's definitely sarcastic. Um, Rory, your favorite classic. You know, I'd probably have to say Dracula. I know I've mentioned a few times that I was on a vampire kick for, for many years there. And, uh, and the original Dracula by Bram Stoker I've read several times. So I think that would definitely constitute uh, my favorite. Luke, a book that you secretly love but are afraid to admit. So for this one, I, I gave it some thought, and I'd probably have to say Twilight. I know, I know, but what can I say? Like I mentioned, I'm, I've always been kind of a vampire nut. Uh, and I think, you know, I think this kind of stems back to when I was a little kid. My dad used to always tell me stories about Count Dracula, whose coffin was hidden in a swamp, and, and he'd rise at night uh, to feast upon uh, human beings. You know, my dad was kind of a horror buff uh, like me. I think back in his day, he was a huge fan of Boris Karloff, and he used to, you know, always talk about the Boris Karloff movies to me when I was a kid. So for a while, for quite a while there, the only thing I read for a long time were vampire novels. So I guess that's where my love of Twilight comes from. I thought, it, though I know it was light and fluffy, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, vampires with a little bit of romance as well. I'm also a huge fan of the Anne Rice vampire novels, but, uh, but... Twilight is definitely one that you might not want to admit because people do tend to hate on Twilight sometimes. Lane, a musical character. So there, for this one, I'm going to say Sherlock Holmes. You know, he's often playing a violin in many of the stories. You know, I just pa purchased the uh, Sherlock Holmes collection on Audible, Audible, about 64 hours worth of stories. So I'm really enjoying that. But I noticed that a lot of the stories, uh, there's a lot of the stories revolves around him playing, uh, playing violin. Dean, your first book love, a character or book you first loved. You know, I think that might have been either The Wizard of Oz or Tom Sawyer. I got those for a birthday present when I was really little, and I do still have the original books. This is The Wizard of Oz and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. And like, what years were are these? Yeah, this one's it's kind of falling apart. Well, my aunt wrote in here December 25th, 1968. So these are, so I was like, I was eight years old then. <gasps> Just gave away my age. Yeah, so I was eight years old then. So uh, these are probably about the first first two books that I fell in love with. And I read I read this many, many times. In fact, it's held together with tape. I read it so many, read it, uh, so many times. I'll just toss it over here. Sucky, a book you devoured. For this one, I'm going to say The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson, a book I read just recently. You know, I think I read this book in one sitting, maybe two. This is one of those books that definitely kept me turning the page. Next question. Jess, a book you love that gets the most hate. So the first thing that came to mind with this one was Twilight, but since I've already used that in the question, I'm going to choose The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now I know that while there are many people, uh, plenty of people who dislike Cassandra Clare, there are plenty of people who love her writing and uh, her Mortal Instruments series, and I'm, I definitely fall into that second camp. I'm enjoying the uh, Mortal Instruments series that I'm currently reading, and also the Shadowhunters uh, television show that's uh, based on that series, so that's my answer. 
Miss Patty, a book that was ruined by the hype. <coughs> okay. For this one, I'm probably going to catch some hate for this one, but I'm going to say Six of Crows. I was, no, it's not that I didn't like the book. I did like it. Uh, the world building was just incredible, and I did like the characters. But I was so hyped up for this book, and the stupid cliffhanger at the end majorly pissed me off. But, you know, that's just me. I know I meant for many people, cliffhangers don't bother them. But, you know, I paid $18 for that hardcover book, and I felt like I only ended up getting part of a story, not the whole story. Um, <laughs> so, yes, cliffhangers are one of my pet peeves. And it ruined the book for me. Usually, if I buy a book and there's a cliffhanger, I will not buy anything else by that author. It pisses me off so much. Um, yeah, so I'm probably not going to read the next book in the Six of Crows series. Emily Gilmore, an expensive book. That would be the uh, illustrated book of The Hobbit. I think that was probably one of the, oh, just knocked my camera here, one of the more expensive uh, books that I own. Paris, an uptight character. So for this one, I'm going to go with the book that I just read, uh, the character of Miles in The Sidekicks. He's, uh, he's kind of a grammar snob, very uppity, very particular. He refers to his fellow classmates as Neanderthals, uh, someone who never breaks the rules. So I would definitely uh, go with Miles for the uptight character. And uh, that's the last question. So, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed this tag. I'll put the questions down below, too, in case you want to do this tag. I know probably a lot of people are, have already done it, because I think it's been around for a while, and I've uh, seen quite a few people do this particular tag. So, that's it for today. I thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.